Good afternoon. School pickup got violent at an Albuquerque Elementary School recently. It happened at Susie Reyes Marmon Elementary after a fight over driving and parking, and it was caught on camera. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to one of the parents involved. She's live at that school near Ladera and 72nd. Yeah, Kim, well, an afternoon pickup just a few hours ago, this street was lined with cars. And while it went smoothly today, that wasn't the case just a few weeks ago. Even a half hour before school is out, parents are lined up for pickup at SR Marmon Elementary School. For one mom who asked not to be identified, the pickup turned violent earlier this month. I don't want to this happen again. Two weeks ago, video shows her entering the parking lot through the exit way, cutting this white car off. That's when the driver of that car came up to her window. He hit my uh, window. I put my window down and then he told me, um, you almost crushed my car. Do you know that? I told him, uh, no, sorry about that. I didn't see you. It quickly escalated. She says he started cussing at her. Don't call me because I'm not your he say, oh, you went my and I say, no, sir, come down. That's when another woman with a male driver came over. The woman we spoke to claims she opened her door and tried to run. When I opened my door, she pushed me inside of my car and then she just start hit me inside of my car. She fought back. Things escalated again the next day and police got involved. The husband of the woman we spoke to came to pick up and heard that same driver talking about his wife. He um, told him, you know what, she's my wife. Don't talk that about her anymore and then don't touch her anymore. According to a criminal complaint, racial slurs were used and the driver of that white car may have threatened to have a gun on him. The criminal complaint says that second encounter got physical, but the mom we spoke to says it didn't. I feel very bad because I don't think that that is correct because they think they can just go everywhere to jail people and then like verbal and then physical. She says after the first incident, the school told both parents they could pick up their kids on different sides of campus. She's in the process of moving her daughter to another school, saying she wished more was done after the altercations. I think that is not justice because I mean, I did not anything. I was just trying to pick up my daughter from school. Like I say, I'm not a problematic person. Now, we tried reaching out to the other parents involved, but were unable to. Both fathers involved in the altercations are facing charges, including disorderly conduct and interfering with members of the general public. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Annalisa. Now, APS calls this behavior unacceptable and tells us all four parents involved are banned from that school property.